Hey, what's going on guys? Tim here again. Got another tutorial for you today. We're revisiting the Beglary tutorial. You can call this Beglary 2.0. So, um, yeah, what we're looking at is same iteration of what we did before, but this time we're doing it a two-toned one. This one has a pretty sweet setup. It's done with the red and uh, green paracord, so it looks like a set of cherries, which is awesome. And that's what we're doing today. Similar method to tying the paracord Beglary from before, but just slightly different because we've got a separate color. Okay, and um, originally I wanted to join the, um, you'll see what, I'm, what I mean, but originally I wanted to join the monkey Swiss with the uh, middle chord with the Manny method, but I kind of messed up, didn't think ahead, so I just ended up melting them together. But if you want to do that, you're going to have to join your paracord ahead of time. So just watch my whole tutorial and then do it. All right, so also got some sweet new sets in, got this awesome set in from Two Big Larry. Full review on that coming up later, but really nice set. So, so excited. All the way from Indonesia, this one. Super cool. Okay, so remember guys, if you like what I do, feel free to check out my Patreon page and support me there. And also, if you're looking for where to get Paracord, check out all those affiliate links down below, because uh, when you shop through those, you're helping out the channel. All right, that being said, let's get into the tutorial. Okay, folks, so to start this one off, we're gonna tie a monkey's fist, of course. We've done the monkey fist so many times, so we're gonna go over this a little bit more quickly, just for our time's sake. But now um, there's gonna be some wastage here. I've got um, this section of paracord here. It's about three feet, and I'm just using the kind of standard size marble. If there is a standard size, this type of marble you see all the time. And um, I haven't actually cut my paracord yet. This is my excess, so I don't wanna, you can always just leave it connected if you don't wanna waste too much. But anyways, here we go. We're going to start off by tying um, the first monkey's fist. So we're doing three passes. So we're going to use our fingers as a jig. I'm going to loop it over the first three times. One, two, three. Like so. Take our marble, insert it here. And then we're going to go around uh, this way three times. So that's we'll once. twice and a third time okay so we've done passes um, vertically horizontally and now the third pass we're gonna go vertically again going this way okay so again I know I'm going quite fast but I've got dedicated tutorials for the monkey's fist on my channel. So I'm going to go around again. So again, three passes. And this should be the last one. Okay, there we go. So just double check your monkey's fist, make sure you've got three passes on all sides. And then now we're going to pull all the excess out this way so we don't waste any more paracord. So I'm gonna since take all the excess out. And just make sure um, you're going towards your um, excess end. Okay, so I finished that first monkey's fist here, and I, you can see I clipped it from my excess paracord. So now that you're finished the first one, I got this all cinched up nicely. Give yourself about uh, three inches here. This will be waste, but uh, we kind of need that. So we're gonna use that, set this aside. Now, grab your second marble and tie your second monkey's fist, okay? So get your same amount of uh, paracord, okay? And then tie your second monkey's fist right now.
Okay, so I made my second monkey's fist, as you can see. Now again, we're gonna give ourselves about two inches or so, right here. And we're going to cut. This is uh, this excess paracord is just gonna make it easier for us to attach our, to our center strand when we uh, join the bag Larry. So I've got my two monkey's fists now. And then now we're going to get our center color I'm going to use uh, this green color because we're doing that kind of cherry bomb theme. And uh, we're going to need about a foot. You're probably going to need, depending. this is dependent on the uh, length between the two beads that you want. So I'm going to be doing about, uh, I want about 16 centimeters, which is roughly uh, six and a half inches. That's what I want in between my two beads. I'm going to give myself a bit excess just so I can play with that. So I'm going to cut that amount of paracord and then we're going to join these uh, monkeys fist together. Okay, so for the next step, we're gonna join the uh, center cord to the monkeys fist. Now, originally I was thinking of using the Manny method for doing this, but I realized, you know, midway through this tutorial, if you wanna do that, you're gonna have to do that before you tie the monkeys fist. It's not gonna work um, while you have the monkeys fist already tied. So you can figure that one out if you want to. We're just gonna do this the easy way. We're going to cut our paracord about right here. We'll just do it right here. Like there. And then for our middle cord, I'm gonna expose the ends here. Okay, now we're just gonna join this the, uh, the usual way. I'm gonna melt both ends and then put them together. This should be strong enough, but you know, if you're really paranoid and you want it to be extra strong, you can do the Manny method for this. Okay, so now that we have this end joined, all we're going to do is uh, pull this excess into the monkey's fist and get a little more excess out on this side to hide that join. Okay, so let's start from this strand here, and you're just going to pull it in. And you want it hidden right about there. See? Oh, don't want it too far in. I might get it maybe just right there. Okay. So hide it halfway through. Then now pull all this excess out to the other side. Okay, and there we go. So we got all the excess out. And now um, we've got this one side attached. We're going to snip and cinch that later. And now we're just going to attach the other side. Okay, so I'm just going to finalize my length now for my middle cord. I like having, for my hand, the length of my uh, string in the middle is about the sort of length of my outstretched fingers, like so. This is totally personal preference, though. You might play short games, so. I'm going to cut my cord right about there and then we're going to join it to the other side of the, the other monkey's fist. I'm going to do the exact same thing. So now I've got the uh, middle cord attached and we're pretty much done. We're just gonna snip and singe, singe our excess. So just to show you one way of doing it, I'm going to cut my cord pretty close. And then from here, take your lighter. Just be very careful not to uh, singe the part you don't want melted. 
and you can press that in. Now, if you want to be really fancy, you can kind of tuck this underneath. So um, you can always just shove that further in, but we'll just leave that there. I feel like it's more secure. Just do the other side. But of course, if you feel that little end bit is ugly, we can tuck it in. Okay, and there we're done. Okay, and there we have it, guys. We are done. So, got this set done up really nice, and it looks great. Really looks like a set of cherries. Remember, if you don't like this unsightly burnt end, you can always just tuck that underneath. I think it's fine where it is. Um, I don't want to risk that cord coming out anyway. But yeah, there we go. So you can, you know, the possibilities are endless with this one. You can do two-toned um, monkey's fist on this side as well, where you have another color. Uh, running through the middle just make this cord longer and feed that through you can always pre-join your paracord you can do it differently like i did so remember just a guideline in these videos um, feel free to experiment and do what you see fit all right so guys i hope you enjoyed this video uh, feel free to check out all those links down below on these other awesome big larry products that i have in my personal collection and uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Remember to check out those affiliate links down below and where to get Paracord because when you shop through those links, you're helping out the channel greatly. And I always appreciate that. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.